what's up six queers in a straight um so the reason why i'm recording this from my phone is a because my battery on my camcorder is dead so i can't get the quality of that and the camera i've been using i'm kind of worried that it didn't end up getting recorded even though it's like almost 100 percent sure it did but with one of my videos i made for youtube it got cut off so i'm concerned about that and i don't want that happening when i make this video so yeah um if you guys are wondering why i'm going to be having to use these two um recording devices i guess you can say and i apologize i recently woke up and i'm not feeling 100 percent the greatest um and something else just so you guys know the reason why i'm making my videos before is just my family is religious and stuff so it's kind of hard sometimes to make videos on saturdays and this past month in October, Saturdays have been, I go to my friend's house almost every weekend. So, Saturdays, I'm not home and it's hard to make a video and upload it. Opposed to if I pre-make the video and then upload it, it's perfectly fine. Um, so, what this video is about is two things. First is um, the our opinions on... Uh, being able in the U.S. to be fired for being gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender, uh, what our opinions on, like, you know, the actual subject and whatnot. I'm going to give you some random states, I guess you can say, from what I've read up on, of where, because I'm not going to re remember all of them. I would take the map up and say which ones of the states I could, you know, recognize, but, um... I'll, I know that New York State, of the state I live in, it covers um, everything but gender identity. So basically it covers your sexual orientation. It doesn't cover tran being transgender. Um, I know in California it covers being transgender. I'm 99.9% .9 sure in Connecticut it does. Um, Washington, I think maybe one of the states that do. I can't really remember, but I know Hawaii is one of the ones that do cover it as well, um, transgender as well, um, I can't really remember it, but either way, there's a lot of states that you can legally get fired for being, you know, gay, lesbian, bisexual, pansexual, asexual, transgender, transsexual, you know, whatever you identify as, anything but straight or anything but a cisgender female or male. And I think that's totally ridiculous. I think that, you know, you shouldn't be fired based on what you are or who you are attracted to because when you're at work, that's not what matters. When you're at work, your work is what matters. And if you're good at your work, why should it matter what your gender presentation is and why should it matter that what your uh, sexual orientation is. It really doesn't. It truthfully doesn't. It, you know, if it, if you don't let it affect your work, then they shouldn't let it affect your work. They shouldn't fire you because of something that makes you you. It's total bullshit. Um, and that's something that I fear and I know I'm going to have to deal with, but I'm totally cool um, and willing to, I guess you can say, deal with it. Um, it's kind of hard because with some of the professions I want to go into, um, there's that potential that they may be biased, um, or they may want to fire me potentially because I'm transgender, or whatever you want to call me, but I truthfully don't give a rat's ass. I am who I am, and if they want to fire me because they're ignorant assholes, then let them do so. Um... But at the same time, the field I'm mainly going into is a very LGBT, and keyword T, friendly, um, environment. So, I'm not even worried about being fired for being trans or being fired for being pansexual. Um, I think in a lot of ways my attraction won't really matter as much to them. I think it's more of me being trans is what I'm worried about. And the reason why I say it is because I'm planning to be working as a welder, and that's one where I'm really not worried as. Because there's a lot of butch lesbians, or even butch girls, that get into that. There are gay guys that are. 
um, welders, and, like, there are trans guys and trans women who weld, so it's a blue-collar job, and uh, knowing from, from what I've seen and from what's here, I'm really, really not worried. Um, the job that I'm more worried about is me becoming an auxiliary police officer, which is what I'm planning to do, um, and potentially eventually becoming a police officer. Um, that's something where I'm kind of really, I don't know, I'm worried about. So I don't know if I'll ever become an actual regular police officer because of that, because that's something I really worry about. I don't want to be in a job where I love it, but I'm getting... <laughs> bashed on for who I am and for what I am, and I can't control that. Um, let me see how long it's been. Decently long, I apologize. Um, so now I'm getting into certain things we like about people on the channel. Now, Amelia and her girlfriend, I don't really know you that well, so I'm not going to say you, so I apologize. Um, but I'm going to say Yoshi, I'm going to say Ty, I'm going to say... Uh, Sapphire, and I'm also going to mention about, um, Teresa and Brittany. Um, but I'm gonna go in the order of the days that we have our videos, and I'm also going to say myself, because I think it's only fair that we mention something positive about ourselves. So, to start out with Teresa and Brittany, Teresa, what I love is just, like, I don't know, like, she's quiet, but she seems very, except, she is, when I've talked to her, um, very accepting, really calm, cool, and collected, and really just, I guess you could say, just very, very nice, um, with Brittany, what I love about her is her talent, um, music-wise, and how she's just very open-minded and very accepting, um, going to Sapphire, I love his style of clothing and stuff, I know it sounds kind of weird, but it just, I love it. And his approach to his videos, I don't know, there's something about it I, I really like. Um, with Yoshi, I love her voice. I don't know, it's like I can listen to it for, for days and days and days, and it's just like so calm. It's like a calming voice, I guess you can say. And I also love her style as well, and I love like her attitude, just like, you know, you never really expect the way her attitude is, the way... She truthfully is when you see her on the outside. I think I pure th I truthfully think that's fucking awesome. Um, and then Ty, I love how Ty speaks her mind and doesn't doesn't like literally doesn't give a rat's ass what people think. It's like you know what, this is me, this is who I am, and I'm gonna stay me. And I think that is amazing and awesome. And as for me, what I like about me is being open minded, accepting. Um, apparently people like my voice, which is something I've been constantly hearing from the videos, which I think is interesting because, I mean, I don't know, I, I never expected you guys to be like, yeah, you should be a counselor, and your voice is really calming and stuff. I mean, I've been told, like, nonstop that my voice is really calming, even from my girlfriend, and that I'm a really good person, but it's like, you don't really see it until people say it. Um, but yeah, that's some stuff I like about myself, and I would say, talent-wise, I love how I'm a good photographer. Yeah, pretty much. So, that's pretty much it for this week. Um, this is the video I'm actually going to end up putting up, so I hope everyone's doing well, and I will see you guys next Saturday. Peace out.